Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the Friday's end of day session or end of day market wrap up, basically, uh, in terms of European markets for Friday, the 14th September 2018. We're already in mid September. Wow. Okay, mid September already here. Now, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay then, so uh, in terms of the uh, markets uh, for today, uh, overall more or less uh, finishing um, higher to slightly flat in terms of European markets. Now mainly that was uh, led by uh, retail sales, industrial production uh, from China, certainly beating expectations, but the uh, fixed asset investment, which was expected, really obviously floundering. Uh, in terms of Turkey as well, uh, situation potentially stabilizing there with the interest rate hike and emerging markets, certain uh, concerns certainly stabilizing. We did have reports with regards to Mnuchin and uh, Mr. Treasury Secretary, Mr. Mnuchin, and obviously the Chinese meeting, uh, but that certainly has been dashed now with the uh, the fact that Mr. Trump, the latest comments from Mr. Trump at the moment, stating that they're going to be slapping those 200 billion worth of tariffs regardless. Okay, so certainly that uh, hope of a potential reconciliation or some sort of agreement certainly isn't uh, obviously uh, uh, isn't being factored into the market anymore and that's exactly what triggered the rally in the s p 500 up to i think 2909 2910 okay now in terms of european economic data trade balance out of the eurozone came in weaker so therefore bearish uh, labor costs rising as well which in turn obviously forces the euro to move higher as well bear that in mind uh, Mr. Carney's speech again, uh, the uh, hawkish Carney, uh, again, uh, not just hawkish, but certainly uh, bearish as well, forecasting house prices, uh, house price crash, uh, which probably is what they want regardless uh, at this moment in time, given the fact that wages certainly aren't rising to support living costs. Okay, um, again, that certainly is a bearish factor. We had uh, the situation with regards to uh, Waitrose uh, and John Lewis as well, with regards to the retail sector, certainly coming in negative. Uh, that factor certainly weighing on the index as well. All the house builders obviously getting hurt with regards to Carney's comments as well. Uh, so a lot of factors weighing on the FTSE and obviously Brexit uncertainty were given the conservative bickering and the infighting going on there as well. So certainly take that into consideration too. In terms of US uh, data, or retail sales numbers came in weaker than expected. So again, that certainly uh, led to a drag on sentiment to a large extent. So that gap higher certainly negated to a large extent, especially with the latest uh, latest news with regards to Trump. Certainly, uh, obviously, imposing that uh, $200 billion tariff regardless. Okay. Also, Mr. Manifer, okay, has been found guilty. So, again, he was uh, one of the chief inst instigators in terms of a Trump win. So, if he's guilty, one would expect other people, indiv other individuals, to be found guilty. And I think we all know Trump is guilty of that as well. Either way, we focus on the markets as opposed to politics. So, let's look at the technical picture now. The German DAX coming into previous resistance equals, well, previous support equals resistance or a technical level regardless, and therefore obviously exerting that pressure. Mr. Draghi was hawkish, therefore you are looking at a bearish uh, effect on European equities, so bear that in mind as well, given the fact that the euro rallied up to 1.17. It has come back, given the fact that obviously the talk with regards to Trump uh, slapping tariffs on, on uh, the Chinese regardless, and therefore obviously that's caused the dollar to rally as well especially the hawkish nature of the Fed. Although yesterday's inflation numbers certainly coming came in weaker. So again, that certainly does check the Fed to a large extent. But nevertheless, that's the status quo. So a lot of a lot has happened in the last 24 hours, folks, okay? Uh, it's impossible for me to go through every single facet, okay, uh, of uh, market movement. Now, 10-minute chart at the moment, from my perspective, looking to potentially close the gap below. Uh, certainly will be targeting that gap below at 12.060, given the fact that Mr. Draghi was hawkish. Okay, on that alone, obviously, given the fact now this uh, comment with regards to Trump as well. So, again, a bearish factor there. Okay, so certainly take that into consideration too. Uh, so, in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's look at the French CAC daily chart, retracing up to that 50%. We had a topping tail yesterday as well. So, certainly, the French CAC is in some trouble here. Uh, bias certainly remains bearish there. 60 minute chart hitting that horizontal resistance zone. We do have the unfilled gap below, or two unfilled gaps below, so bear that in mind. Bear flag scenario certainly in play down to 5.330 and potentially even close the gap at 5.280 as well. So bearish bias there in terms of the French cat. The FTSE 100 all day has failed to get past that 73.24.25 zone. Okay, again, internal bickering with regards to the Conservative Party. Uh, Carney uh, warning as well with regards to an all deal Brexit being certainly bearish. Uh, and again, a lot of political uncertainty and fear there as well. 
China trade war concerns, obviously, in the background as well. Oil prices swooning, copper falling as well, global growth concerns, etc., etc. I mean, GBP, USD certainly are, obviously remains lofty as well. So a lot of drugs in the FTSE 100 uh, at present. The daily chart on the FTSE certainly is attempting, attempting. I mean, the real next support is seen at 7190. Then you've got looking at 7070 and back down to 6900 as uh, Brexit near. So again, bias remains bearish. Okay, so I think that's a summation really of European markets. My understanding, uh, European equity is certainly under immense pressure given the fact that Mr Draghi remains hawkish, no uh, real uh, dovish uh, sort of uh, short squeeze trigger affected at all. No, no dovish short squeeze trigger. Again, Draghi has saved the markets on multiple occasions and he certainly isn't doing so at present, especially with trade deficit and obviously Mr Trump's trade war ongoing and the Europeans receiving no reprieve from Mr. Trump whatsoever. Either way, that's the status quo. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Download the app at Google Play and Apple App Store, and be sure to visit cfds.com and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.